Whack. 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 Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what that sounds like? Well, it sounds more like it here. It sounds like someone hitting, um, e either dropping like a bowling ball into a tin chute or something. Oh, but here it is. It, it also sounds almost like the sound of someone hitting a beach volleyball really hard. I don't know, I like the sound. Anyway, hello guys, we, and welcome back to Let's Play... <laughs> what was I going to say? And welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts with me, Oix Phil. And, well, since we're in an insane asylum, and we seem to sort out some things with Boyd, let's go jump into another mine. Maybe we can, uh... Let's see, let's see, um... Do we got uh, things I gotta do? Uh, find a face, find a lab coat, find a claw. Oh, we gotta help Gloria control her mood swings, help Fred win the battle in his mind, help Edgar conquer his obsession with... Bullfights! So, uh, yeah, we gotta jump into their mind if you haven't noticed. I mean, come on, Psychonauts, what would we, what else would we be doing? Come on! Oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Oh man, this is really nice. I like it. Oh, this is cool. Cut! Hey, kid, can't you see I'm trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh god, <laughs> even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore <laughs> Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Bonita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Bonita <laughs> to take the stage again. Then you're the star of my show, kid. I'll go talk to her. I love the laugh track. <laughs> I love the laugh track. Uh, one sec. I'm just going to change something real quick. Let's see if this... Uh... All right. I want to leave on V-Sync, but I'm going to turn off advanced shading. Um, hope that helps with the skipping. Oh, look. It's already helping. There we go. That should... Oh. That should do good. Alright, let's go talk to this Jasper guy, because it sounds like he's got some things to say. Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. Oh. He looks too mean to wake up. Yeah, jeez. Can we, uh... <laughs> we can look at each other. <laughs> oh, man. I would love to be a an usher like that. Actually, no. I have a friend who was an usher, and... I liked his co-workers, but pretty terrible job as far as he, I was able to know. So let's get some figments. Aw oh, man, another rank up. Oh, we're gonna get an invisibility upgrade. I can't wait. Aw. Oh, we're just gonna be like... Aw, oh, we're gonna be... I was gonna say we're gonna be beautiful, but nobody's gonna see us, so... <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. Come on, anything else? No? That's it? Oh, hey, there's a couple things up here. Let's see if we can grab those. I keep forgetting about these. I think I didn't grab them on my last playthrough. Oh, man, and there's... Oh, mental cobweb! Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, man, we came to the right place. Look at that. It's another side challenge card. Oh, and I, I... I don't think I remember seeing this up here last time I went through. This is, what? Ammo up. Not that we really need that much ammo, but... It's gonna be helpful. Come on, get those, get those figments. Come on, Rasputin. What do you think you're doing? There we go. There we go. Huh? I'm actually surprised those are not all the mental cobwebs. But after all, we are dealing with someone with uh. No, I guess we can't really bounce on those. We're dealing someone with uh. Whoa, jeez. With uh. 
mood swings, so maybe it makes sense that there's a lot of mental cobwebs. Alright, I'm gonna leave these for now, because we're gonna get a chance to just jump on those as much as we want, so. I need the purse tag here. Oh, I thought I got the purse tag. I guess not. Oh well. Alright, let's see what else. What else? Oh, a bunch of Oh, so so many figments. All right over here. There's the purse tag. All right. That's the worst thing about these these handbags and such. This mental mental uh or emotional baggage. You can always hear you can always hear the crying from no matter where you are. I mean, it's not that it's annoying. It's just you can hear it everywhere. And it just drives you... Well, not, I was gonna say, drives you insane, but it doesn't drive you insane. It's a real... I, I, th I really like it. It's a really good effect. It uh, gets into your mind that you have to actually do this, you know, collect the tags and actually sort the emotional baggage. Uh, because you kind of want to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, is that a... I thought I set up, saw a mental cobweb up there somewhere. Not sure. Ooh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's up here? Bonita, Bonita, I can't, that looks like a Three Stooges thing, oh no, Bonita, Bonita, oh man, she was in a lot of productions, that's pretty cool, she was pretty successful, Bonita, ah, here we go, Got it. the absolute first time when we actually do hey, need, I guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now, when we actually do need the, uh, cobweb duster. Yeah, geez, I can hear that crying from all the way here. Let's go see what's up. Can we... Can we open the door? No, get a... Bust down the door? What is it? Oh no, that's right. <laughs> it closes automatically hey, like a Scooby-Doo go... really Scooby door. Uh, we have to go... See anyone invisible! Anymore. Except this time we're not gonna be uh, running into problems with the... Uh, those Girl Scout, Girl Scout knockoffs. All right, we're gonna check up with you in second. Just wanna grab all these things before I forget or stuff like that. There we go. Was that one? Oh no, that's just a poster. Anyway, oh, there's one. Hey, hey Bonita, let's. I'm gonna try to cheer you up, you know. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten? Her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. Oh. Well... I wasn't really expecting that voice. It's kind of like a uh, doctor girlfriend from Venture Brothers. So who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was actually kind of distracting. But anyway, they, they need you on stage right away for your big number. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? <laughs> okay, so... So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? So, should we get another muse, or...? Is there any yeah, way come I can on. get you to take the stage? Help me out here! If you can get me some help out there, so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. Oh, no problem, so... Yeah, let's... I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> oh, that, no problem. I mean, uh, I guess you really are her muse. I mean, same, same, uh, clairvoyance image. So this is gonna be. Oh, this is gonna be simple though. I mean, 
Just go up here somewhere, get a candle. Oh, well, that's a lamp. I guess we get to keep looking. I've always never really understood this little area. Seems to be no point to it. I think there'd be like a goodie hidden in there or something, but... So we just throw that up and you know, we're, we're, we're gone. Gloria's cruel training. Couldn't be that bad. I mean, oh man, that's like the, the school for ghouls from, uh, well, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> the Scooby-Doo movie. I love that movie. Oh, well, she's got some pretty nasty teeth, I guess, but, um, I mean, come on, not everybody's perfect. Although, her mom looks pretty sad. Oh, um, maybe, maybe it's an Indiana Jones number. With cavemen and tattered clothes. Oh. At least you get to watch a movie? But I mean, wait a minute. That girl's crying over all of it. Uh oh. Oh. That is pretty terrible. <laughs> I know I'm laughing, but I'm laughing at my fake reaction. <laughs> I've seen this before. I'm not gonna try to pull the wool over your guys' eyes. I've seen this like five times. It's not a it's not a surprise. <laughs> Can we get some some more crying out of the way? Jeez. Alright, can we uh Oh yes we can. Make it over here. Perfect. Get some more mental cobwebs. Oh, perfect. Don't have to bring this thing out ever again. Oh, jeez, it's all the way up there. Come on. There we go. Come on. You can make it, Raz. You're an acrobat for crying out loud. Aw. Just missed it. There we go. We'll do it this way. We'll do it the long way. You jerk. Couldn't just jump over it all. Like the acrobat you should be. Alright. Just go up here. Get that candle, put on that spotlight, and then we, we're out of Gloria's mind, and we can just, uh... Ooh, invisibility lasts twice as long. That's pretty useful. We can just, uh, put on the show, uh, get out of Gloria's mind, and then, you know, bada-bing, bada-boom, we got a claw, we're a third of the way through. Jeez, this, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought we, we were gonna have to do, like, subplots and, uh different things with uh twists and stuff like that like I uh, this is this is simple look got a spotlight going it's the happy spotlight oh look at this oh that alive, that looks so cheery is about to take the stage flower girls in position 1 and action tonight i will be playing the part Oh, she's so cute! Actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! Oh, I can't wait, jeez. Wait, what? And where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Play tonight, once again, by Lolita. I'm an audience of one, but I'm an audience. I'll hope that my mother is proud of me. Oh. Uh, the Phantom. Oh my god. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace. And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. No, 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 no. no. Bonita, come back. Time, come back, baby. Come on. I'm going to file a formal complaint <laughs> and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse, improv. <laughs> so whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override 
Unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. Oh, come on. Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. What's wrong with improv? Highest form of comedy. Oh, look at the doggy. Looks so happy. I mean, come on. Let's just let's just try this again. Screw the phantom. He can't. He can't hurt anybody. What do you mean you're gonna <laughs> fire hydrant? <laughs> What do you mean you're gonna get this place shut down? I don't believe you can. God, what kind of power do you think you have? You're just a critic. But you show. Ah, script. Alright, well I'm gonna go talk to Benita quick. Benita Sole or whatever her name is. No, I guess we can't. Guess we should talk to her before. There's no way to get back there. There's no way to get back. Oh well. Well, let's talk to uh, Becky, quick then. You said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Yeah, okay, come on. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out, ma'am. I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in. Sorry, no way up there. What kind of theater is this? One play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. What kind of what kind of theater is this that you don't have a way to get to the catwalks? God, maybe I'm on the critic's side now. I'm gonna try to get this place shut down. Oh, and we can actually go behind. I guess we just have to go this way. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that if you heard that. Uh, I tried to stifle it as well I could, but, uh... Now, you see, yeah, come on. That performance is exactly why we need to practice. See, that <laughs> That's really gonna help. Beat it, kid, I'm through. As long as Jasper and that phantom are out there, I'm staying back here, wallowing in my glamorous torment. <laughs> the show must go on. Yeah, it must go on without me. As long as Jasper rolls and that phantom are out there. Sorry, kid. Oh, come on, Benita, Soleil, baby. Come on, let's, let's do phantom, lunch. You? Get you back no, on stage. it's not him I'm frightened. Up. It's that fat one who clings to the side of the theater like a blood swollen tick sucking out its life. Ew. He's always been there, but he wasn't always that big and loud. I couldn't hear him much at all, really, until Gloria's mother hit the stage. He didn't like her performance either? No, I mean hit the stage, curse splat, jump from the catwalks while Gloria was in Paris. Ew. Yeah, that's what the janitor <laughs> said, too. I've actually not you heard that, I know uh, you have a lot of crying to do. that part of Gloria. Glorious past, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. It's just it, I'm taking more time in this playthrough, which I like. Like I, I never went back to check Bonita because I just you know went along with what I knew I needed to do. Sort some emotional baggage. Uh, ooh, weird camera angle right there. Just jumped all over the place. Um, we'll talk to Jack. We'll talk to Jasper. Next time on Let's Play Psychonauts with Mio X Fu. Stay away from me, you dog. Stay away from me. Love <laughs> the laugh track. Rough game. We're going for a ride. Rough. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, stay away from me, you dog. I'm not fire hiding or any of that stuff. Get away from me. All right. See you guys next time on Let's Play Psychonauts. Like I just said again. God, I'm terrible at this. With me, Oaks Fu. Take it easy. We. Oh man, I just missed that figment. Come back here, figment. There we go. I hate getting these figments. Oh, I like that. <laughs> All right, save. Uh, what is the lowest one? It would be this. Yes, please. Exit stage.